Many of the fans may not know that Glinda's role was developed with you in mind. What were your first impressions of the character and the songs that were written for Glinda? Interesting. Not everybody knows this. Oh, I wish Steven Schwartz was on this on this uh, interview, but they were doing a reading of Act One of a show called Wicked, and I thought, ooh, what's that? I, even my mom was like, is it satanic? You know, <laughs> that old joke. But she really was like, what is it? Stephen called me on the phone. He explained what it was. I said, that sounds really interesting. He goes, it's all it requires from, me, from you is one song, just one song. And I've written for it for you in mind. You would just get to come in, kill it, and leave. And I was like, okay, okay. So um, I show up at the reading. In this particular reading, the first reading that I was involved with, the alphabet was played by Stephanie Block. You know, I've, I've loved all my alphabets. I hope they've loved me, but I've loved them all. And she's doing, Mount the Marble comes out, introduces the show. No one mourns the wicked. This is how it started. And then the roommate. Glenda comes on and she's like, hi, and maybe I can help you with that thing on your skin and maybe I can help you with your makeup and maybe I can help you with your clothes. And I did popular at the end. <laughs> this isn't me. This is the creative coming to me going. Um, so yeah, this isn't just about Alphaba and Madame Marble. This is, do you mind if we ex start expanding and, uh, thinking about, when I was like, sure, you know, yeah, whatever. So, I don't know, six, eight, ten, a year, months later, I come in and Glenda's a little bit, you know, more, and then we have this duet that's no longer in the show. I think Loathing replaced it. Mm -hmm. And then the third reading, Glenda starts the show, and she starts telling what it was. Mm -hmm. And then it became the love story between the two women. That's that's a, just a fact of what happened. Yeah. But more importantly, you can tell that I look for themes when I accept a project. And I like the themes of conflict and forgiveness and love and friendship and that show, especially forgiveness. You know, Wicked isn't just Elphaba because Elphaba isn't just Wicked, she's also good. And Glenda isn't just good, mm -hmm. she's also Wicked. Mm -hmm. And that is what became clear the more and more and more we did it, at least from my viewpoint. 